guys, it is KZ Fitness. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is basically going to be like a BCA slurpee slushy, and then I'm also going to add in outdoor workout that I'm going to put towards that, so make sure you stay tuned for all of it. It's going to need a few ingredients for this. I need um, any type of BCAs. I really enjoy this because as you can tell, I've used a lot of it up. It's by far one of my favorites, but I also use BioSteel sports performance drink when I'm at the gym. You're gonna need a blender, a lemon, and clearly some ice and water. You're gonna have your blender. And of course, I don't have a scoop in here, so I'm gonna weigh it out. 10.5 grams is going to be one scoop. So I added 12 grams in here, so a little bit more than one scoop is in that. And then you're gonna take a full lemon, put it in here, you're just gonna wanna take the juice from the lemon. Then what you're gonna wanna do is fill your like, blender up with mainly ice, and then you're gonna add a little bit of water. Now I'm gonna add the Slenda in. I'm honestly just grabbing a little bit. Okay, and then when it is all done, you're gonna have a super slushy consistency. Grab a cup. And there, yeah, the slushy. Okay, so I thought I'd also show you guys what I'm gonna have like post workout. There's asparagus, mushrooms, chicken, lettuce, and a little bit of low calorie ranch in this on a low carb tortilla, which is delicious. So I'm gonna have this, my BCA slush and then drink some water and go over some of my plans for my clients. Okay guys, so got my glasses on outside right now. I am um, a video for you guys. So that is exciting, but I'll show you guys what you will need for your outdoor workout. Okay, so I just got some ankle weights and a resistance band. That is meant for like lower body on all that stuff. And these weights, if I'm not mistaken, are seven pounds and just a bottle of water so that I don't die. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do kickbacks with the weighted uh, ankle belt thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do 12 per side and I just end up speeding up the next clip. So just make sure you really focus on squeezing the glutes at the top to engage them. Now I'm just doing squats with the ankle weight still on. Um, just to add a little bit of balance and I make sure that I keep the tensions on my glutes by not fully coming through in the moment. So these are walking uh, side to side squats pretty much. I do not come up all the way in, to ensure that I keep the tension on the glutes like always. So I just did four. Now this is just a different variation of my kickbacks with a little more tension than I had with the ankle weights on previously. I ended up doing squats to a kickback on each one of my steps and I focused on sitting the back for this one as well as really squeezing at the top of this movement to engage my glutes like all of these workouts are for. Also just a reminder I have thick thighs <laughs> so here we are doing um, single leg, leg glute bridges with the ankle weight which makes it extremely hard to do not gonna lie. And then I ended up doing double and then switching to the other leg. Deadly. <laughs> so I'm just doing jump squats on my steps. You can honestly do this anywhere you want. Um, the balance was a little rough for this one. But then I got right into lunges holding on just to allow stability for me while performing this exercise. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Mwah.